Hello and welcome back. Uh, we are working on complex trig questions. These questions are not in your book. Uh, these are handouts that are given. Um, this is the first question. I've taken the liberty of already drawing some of the triangles in that we require. So let's take a look at what we have. Okay, let's take a look at this bottom triangle first. We'll look at what we have overall. The only things that we have is a height here from this line to here, which I created a triangle and an angle. So let's solve the inside of this triangle. Let's draw the triangle out. Um, so here's something that looks similar to this. I'm going to push this up so that's the main focus or one of our main focuses. It's a 90 degree triangle. Let's take our lines and extend these guys out. This guy says that I'm 38 degrees. If this is 38 degrees, then this is 38 degrees. right? We're going to say we want to find out what this angle is here, so we're going to go 180 minus 38 degrees plus uh, 90. 180 minus bracket 38 plus 90 bracket comes out at 52. 52. Okay, so we have this height here, 1.4. So we have, we're going to use this guy here. So this is opposite hypotenuse. What we want to find is the hypotenuse. Put an H there. We want to find that length of the hypotenuse. So we take a look here. We are going to use cosecant. Hypotenuse over opposite. Cosecant is the inverse of sine. So sine Thirty-eight equals second function one over equals times one point four. So sine thirty-eight equals second function one over equals times. 1.4 uh, equals 2.2739 we'll say okay so that's what we have for this height 2.2739 well let's take a look at some of our angles so we have this angle here we have this angle here what we need to find is this angle and this angle here okay those are the two angles we need and we need this base length here so rotate that around we're gonna draw it out I have a V with a circle here right? if that's tangent and that's tangent I can bisect this angle Okay, so let's take a look. If I extend this line down, this here is 38 degrees. 180 minus 38 degrees divided by 2. Because we're bisecting this angle. That would be that half, but we want this half. So. 180 minus 38 bracket 180 minus 38 bracket divide by 2 equals 
71. Oops. So therefore, this internal angle is 71 degrees. Okay, let's do the same for this angle here. Okay, we know that that angle, okay, let's draw it out again. Circle here. This angle here is fifty two fifty two degrees. So one eighty minus fifty two divided by two bracket one eighty minus fifty two divide by two equals sixty four. So therefore this angle here is going to be sixty four. So this angle here is sixty four. Now with this guy here, if we can find the height of this triangle, pretend that's and that's touching here. If we can find the height of this triangle, we can multiply it by two to get the radius or get the diameter. This here is not in your textbook. But this is the formula we're going to use to find that guy. So before we get all excited, let's draw out our problem. We know that this guy here is 71. We know that this guy here is 64 degrees and we know that this base length here is 2.2739 it's probably 4 but that's fine we'll just go with that for now our formula is our length over cotangent angle A plus cotangent angle B. And then afterwards it would be times 2 because we need twice the uh, twice the radius. So our L is going to be 2.2739 over uh, cotangent 64 plus 70 oh, cotangent 71. Now there is a sort of a simpler way if I wanted to cheat. I don't even want to say cheat, but I could print out a sign calculator or sign sheets. So I could go turn around and go 74, or sorry, 64. Cotangent of 64 is going to be this number. Cotangent of 71 is going to be this number. And I could just use those numbers, but we're not going to do that because what happens now? if it's a odd number instead of just degrees what if it's degrees minutes seconds or something so let's I'm gonna write this out so I'm gonna go tan 64 equals second function 1 over plus uh, tan 71 equals second function uh, 1 over. Okay, so let's throw that in our calculator here. We're going to go tan 64 equals second function 1 over equals 0.48773 we'll say 2. We're not going to use that many decimal places, but 
Okay, so for this guy here, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to go 10, 71, second function, 1 over. Uh, I didn't go equals. Shame on me. 10, 71, equals, second function, 1 over, equals. 0 0.3 4, 4, 2, th or sorry, 4, 4, 3, 2. That's a 3, that's a 2. Let's check that against our handy tables here. I got 4, 4, 3, 2, 8, good. And I got uh, 4, 4, 8, 7, 7, 3, 3. Pretty good. So let's add these guys together. Seven seven three two plus point three four four three two equals height equals two point two seven three nine divided by zero point three two zero five two. So let's do that one. 0.22739 divided by point. That was an 8. But I can't be sure. 0.487732 plus point. Double check your numbers. 0.832052. divided by 0 0.832052 equals or each equals 2.732. We'll say nine. Oopsie. Times two equals equals five point four six five seven four point four six five seven six four one something something something. Um, we'll just go five point four six six. Therefore, our diameter is 5.466. Uh, this is a complex question. I hope that this helped with any confusion.